figures. Mankind lived just like the animals. And something happened which unleashed the power of our imagination. We weren't the talk. There's a silence in the valley. I can't seem to think straight. But then I said, in that frame of reference, the perihelion of Mercury would have processed in the opposite direction. <laughs> that is a great story. <laughs> Quite amusing, Dr. Hawking. You see, Sir Isaac, the joke depends on an understanding of the relativistic curvature of space-time. If two non-inertial reference frames are in relative motion... Do not patronize me, sir. I invented physics. The day that apple fell on my head, the most momentous day in the history of science. Not the Apple story again. That story is generally considered to be apocryphal. What? How dare you? Uh, perhaps we should return to the game. Uh, let's see, where were we? Yes, you raised Mr. Dale. Which means that um, the bet is seven to me. The bet is ten. Can't you do a simple arithmetic? why I'm here in the first place. What is the point of playing this ridiculous game? When I play poker with my shipmates, it often appears to be a useful forum for exploring the different facets of humanity. I was curious to see how three of history's greatest minds would interact in this setting. So far, it has proved to be most illuminating. And forbidden. <laughs> Can we get this over with, please? It's your bet. I raise 50. Gast, I fold. I fold as well. The uncertainty principle will not help you now, Stephen. All the quantum fluctuations in the universe will not change the cards in your hand. I call. You are bluffing. And you will lose. Wrong again, Albert. Red alert! All personnel report to duty stations. We will have to continue this another time. End program. Something happened which unleashed the power of our imagination.